Well, spring is just around the corner, making it the perfect time to clean out your closet and decide which winter clothes to keep. Our Ask Angie Pro, Becky Gaynor, owner of Organize with Becky, teaches us how to organize our closet. Need a little help organizing your closet this spring? In today's Ask Angie segment, Becky Gaynor, owner of Organize with Becky and Pro at Angie, gives us her top tips for decluttering and reorganizing closets. Okay, it is so critical for my clients to keep their closet organized because that's where they start their day. And if they want to get to work on time, then we need to find the matching pair of shoes. We need to find the right blouse that's already ready to go. It's pressed, it's ironed. I, I need them getting out the door on time. So the wardrobe is the best place to keep fine-tuned and organized in their, in their families. Becky says the key to closet organization is owning less stuff. Go through all of your clothes, shoes, and accessories and get rid of anything you no longer need. Don't be tempted to buy specialized equipment like shoe racks or shelf dividers to organize your closet. Becky says that most people don't need any accessorized to organize their closets. It's a no if you're asking me, what's your favorite accessory to add to my closet? You don't need anything new. You've got what it takes. You've got more than what it takes. The excess, when we clear it out and declutter, you're going to find out that that tie rack that you bought for your spouse, it nails it. Just don't get the 73 extra ties for every wedding, service, blah, blah, blah to go. He can't dress up that much to use those 73 ties. So let's stick with the original tie rack. Get it down to the number it was made for. You got your accessories already paid for. The size of your closet matters. Large closets can hold more clothes without looking messy, but that's not always a good thing. If you have a large closet, make sure you're not holding on to clothes simply because you have the space for them. Small closets can fill up pretty quickly, which means you need to stay on top of keeping them organized. So how to make the most of a small closet, it goes back to my, what I, my theory of how to get organized is you own less. So small closets actually can be a blessing in disguise. If I feel like they're good and they're pared down, one thing I recommend in the small closets, it's a, it's a rail that you like hook it over and it's got a bar in the bottom. So it's adding a dimension of a, another shelf, inexpensive, they don't have to have a handyman come in and put a bar. It's, it's really conducive, it's helpful. Like their blouses and their pants can go on the bottom. Okay, wow, that was a dream closet right there. No kidding. But, but was she saying don't hang on to clothes that you hope will fit again someday or <laughs> clothes that you hope come back in style? Well, you, they you, always make their rounds, so keep them. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's not helpful. I need to get rid of a lot, Grace, that's for sure. Grace said it. Grace said it, so it's true. <laughs> Sorry. Great tips. As we know, our closets can definitely get out of control. Mine, for sure. All right, for ideas on closet organization, visit CLiving.tv.